screw up. Wow. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Jay. More than kill. And I'm back here on Destiny! And this week, Jure is selling his exotic upgrades for the first time. And this gives you the ability to trade in your old exotic weapon for a brand new, freshly upgraded one. And th th the only problem I I is that each weapon costs one exotic shard and about seven to eight thousand glimmer. Say what? <laughs> when you consider the fact that you can only carry 25,000 glimmer maximum at a time? That's, that's more than 25% of all your money. That's a goddamn shame. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a quick area that I use to farm some real fast glimmer to get this done. And I, I know there's gonna be some of you motherfuckers that are coming on the comment section. Ooh, you're coming on the comment section. <laughs> and I know you're gonna be like, Mac! Don't make videos like this, you're gonna get this shit nerfed! Motherfucker, I am not the first one to put this up on the YouTube. Matter of fact, this is probably one of the worst kept secrets in the game. It's, it's weird! It's like a lot of people know about this, but like, nobody ever uses it. And I, I guess that's probably because nobody ever really had a need for Glimmer for like the last three months until now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come all the way out to mars to the mission exclusion zone so once you select a mission all you have to do is put it on the lowest level possible with the heroic modifier and i think that's like level 16 or 18 somewhere around anyway the level isn't important as long as you have the heroic modifier active and what this does is it turns the entire second wave of enemies in the first two minutes of the mission, into yellow bar cabals, and that means that they naturally drop glimmer, and you can also use the resupply code buff, and you'll end up getting like five to 700 glimmer in about a minute and a half, because there are about eight yellow bar enemies out there, and they are very easy to kill. So the, the trick to do this is, on the second wave, leave at least one red bar enemy alive. And kill yourself. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. Oh, shit. But yeah, what you gotta do is just kill all the yellow bar enemies, leave one red bar enemy alive, and if you come to this grate here, this is a pretty sweet area for getting a pretty predictable grenade bounce to kill yourself. And I, I know that seems stupid to mention, but uh, if you wait for the enemies to punch you to death, it's pretty lame because it could take like up to like two minutes for that shit to happen so yeah you're, you're probably gonna want to just kill yourself with your own grenade but it's actually pretty funny though because sometimes the cabal will just punch you and you you go sailing away <laughs> like a hundred feet away and you slam into a wall and you're dead it's, it's actually pretty hilarious <laughs> but yeah if you just keep doing this over and over again you're pretty much gonna get a ton of glimmer and uh, when you're ready to go back to the tower make sure you go around and run around and collect all the network keys and resupply codes because not only will the resupply codes come in handy when you do this again later but the network keys will sell at the crypt arc for 200 glimmer a piece and the coolest thing about the network keys is when you have these things in your inventory if you don't feel like giving them to the crypt arc and you want to save them you can put them in your bank and you can, you can save money and you don't have to have, like, you know, all your 25,000 Glimmer maxed out. You can just put some network keys in your bank and save it for later. That way, you actually have more than 25,000 Glimmer. You just have it stored away in the bank. So you save it for a rainy motherfucking day. Or you save it for when the hard mode comes out. And you use all your goddamn ammo since trying to get through that goddamn thing. Because that hard mode raid is going to be pretty tough. Because the uh, regular raid is pretty rough. Especially... All those thrall. <laughs> so, you can make pretty much about max glimmer in about 30 to 45 minutes if you keep farming this, which is pretty goddamn fast. So, there's you guys out there that want to max out your uh, exotics and get them leveled up pretty quick. Here is a perfect farming area for you guys to go and have a little bit of fun in. So, my name is Jay. More than after kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. Although, right now, I don't really need a lot of motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos because I've uploaded the last time of motherfucking videos in the last time of fucking 24 hours. Right. I need to get some breakfast. I got some shit to do. I gotta run to the bank because it's Friday and. 
I don't get some money out, I'm gonna be broke all weekend long, and nobody wants to be broke on the weekend. That's why, that's why we have this farming technique, because nobody wants to be broke in Destiny either. Fucking never enough money, never enough time in a day. So, like I said, my name's Jay, we're gonna have to kill, thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys later.